Hi guys, it's Richie here, aka the Aquaman, um, and thanks for joining me on this cold and frosty, freezing cold morning um, in I'm in South Wales, Caerphilly, um, and today will be the first workshop uh, that I've done for um, Prodibio uh, for 2021. Um, of course, for obvious reasons, um, with the with the pandemic and stuff. There's going to be absolutely no one allowed in the shop whatsoever. It's just myself in there. Um, Ross has kindly given me the keys um, so I can just let myself in and do what I like, which is good. Um, yeah, if you're wondering, I'm in the car. I've just uh, <laughs> I've just defrosted all the all the windows and stuff, and it's that cold. I've even got ice on the inside of my window. It's no joke. <laughs> anyway, so stay up to date with me. Um, I've brought uh, my tripod with me so I can try and get some good good shots of the of the tank and stuff. Gutted I can't live stream this um, because uh, there's been some issues because it's a brand new store. Um, setting up the Wi-Fi has been a bit of a nightmare. Um, so we did try a dongle but that didn't work. So I'm just gonna have to record it for you guys and um, Hopefully I can get it all stitched together and edited and stuck up um, Sometime either tonight or tomorrow Definitely over the weekend um, so you can see what I've done um, I'll take photos during it as well um, I might I might even do like a complete how-to it'll be the first what first time I've done a how-to I think um, My previous videos that I've done especially on YouTube have basically just been slideshows or I've talked about the skateboard, the tank, or whatever. So, yeah, it'll be um, be good. So, uh, stay tuned, guys. Um, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel, like it, um, share it wherever you like, leave a comment below, um, and don't forget to check out Predibio uh, and myself. Um, Aquaman underscore Aquascaper. If you don't follow me on Instagram. Um, my business is Aquaman Complete Aquarium Services, so uh, I will be, you know, I'm available to look after your tanks, set up your tanks, design your tanks, whatever your heart desires. <laughs> so, um, yeah, stay tuned, guys, and I'll see you later. Hey, guys, uh, Richie here. Um, I'm here, Driftwood Aquatics. Um, all by myself, all by my lonesome. I've got the whole place to myself, it's wicked, so I can just like have a look around and decide on what wood and stuff I want to use. Um, no idea, no idea what I'm going to do yet. Um, but what I will do is I'll do a little quick tour because the stop has changed again since I did the first video. Um, he's Ross has insulated it so it's warmer and uh, he's also put a, a false ceiling in so he's got a bit of extra um bit of extra storage space um so yeah bear with and i'll show you the ta the, the shop and the tank that i'll be using okay so here's the tank uh it's an antra you see the see if i can focus on there for you here you go it's a antra 60 liter it's one of these nano tank nano uh nano tanks um i'm not sure if it's the escaping because i don't think it's opti white glass i think that is standard float um but the actual nano scape tanks which are here um are opti i think um opti white um if we had a little move around so there's some of your sea chem stuff or your decorative sands and substrates then we move on to my favorite part which would be the word no idea which one i'm going to use <laughs> oh well that one dragon outfit <laughs> probably not um there's plenty for me to choose from in here um here's the little escaping dojo which uh ross built himself i believe um some of your rock. I'm not actually sure what this one that I'm pointing to on my foot is actually called. There's your Sirius stone. Loads of that here. This one's really interesting. I've not used this before, so I may I may have a play with this and see what I can come up with because this looks really interesting. 
Um, right, here's a little escape the Ross did. And the little Aquiel uh, shrimp set. Um, it's only a 20 litre, I think. No, it's less than that. It's probably only 10 litres, actually. I quite like it. It's pretty cool. Comes complete with your little built-in light, which I think is about 6 watts. Oh. Who's that guy? <laughs> um, yep, all your Prodivio stuff, which I will be using today. Hope he's got the shrimp soil. Yes, he has. Awesome. Um, in this little bag behind the counter there, it looks like milk and coffee. But see that little bag there with the blue? Yep, there's a nice little surprise in there. Because we'll be using Prodivio Startup. I absolutely love this product. Um, so yes, I will be using that. Um, on to the other side. And this is a stunning, stunning kit um, by Prodibio, the aquascaping tool set. Also, he sells the uh, Aqua Vitro, which is uh, Seachem, I believe. Um, Ultramax filters by Aqua L, which is pretty good. CJ, which I've never used, but um, I hear they're good. Um, and Mr. George Farmer, he'll be happy, look. Tropical soil plants. We haven't actually got a wet system here yet, so the plants I'll be using today will be um, these one to grow um, vitro pots and possibly uh, some of these. I think they're called self serve, where they come in their own like blister packs, which are um, really cool, um, last for ages, like. I think it's six weeks to two months they last in these, which is wicked. So you can just come on into Driftwood Aquatics and uh, pick your pick your plants and away you go. So uh, I'm gonna, well, I cannot wait to set up this. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before. I did put a, it was a little bit of a, a little bit on it in my last video that I did on the shop where this here is called the Brio. This is your aquatic section where your plants and uh, your fish and stuff live. But then it also feeds this section, which um, it's an aquaponics system. So this this here, where my finger's pointing now, that is where you plant your terrestrial plants. So the fish waste and excess fish food and stuff will go to fertilize this side. So it's uh, wicked. All the lights here are LED and they're on their own built-in timers and stuff. So I can't wait. That's another one I'm gonna be scaping um in due course so uh yeah stay tuned for that one right back to me <laughs> right so i hope you enjoyed that little bit of a tour and a bit of an idea of what i'm what i'm doing um that area i just showed you where the brio excuse the strobe in the lights in here are a bit i don't know why 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 you're strobing but never mind um where that brio is i just showed you is going to be the new range of um tanks from aquarium cabinet solutions called crystal aqua um yeah they're gonna be awesome 45 degree mitered edges yeah man i can't wait to get my hands on one and get to escape one um so yeah stay tuned for that as well yeah hi guys right um i had a little play around with some hardscape um I was going to use this, it looks like obsidian, but it's got lots of little, like, white um, veins running through it, which uh, look really cool, but I just couldn't get it to work. Um, so, uh, yeah, I scrapped that idea, and I'm going to go with a good old-fashioned Sirio stone. Uh, we all... You should be, everybody should be familiar with the old Sirius stone, very popular stone, um, used widely. Um, unfortunately, there's no dragon stone because I nicked it off for a customer. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll be using Sirius. Um, what I've done in here, let me put this down a sec. <laughs> uh, you'll notice there's two bags of uh, Predibio uh, shrimp soil. Um, now the shrimp soil is exactly the same as the aqua growth soil it's just a finer grain size and for a nano tank that's perfect 
Um, yeah, it's uh, really high, really high in nutrients. It'll help to buffer your pH as well. Um, I had this in my contest tank, and it was my pH was around about the six point five, which is perfect for shrimps. Um, most of your, most of your uh, aquatic plants and your fish too. Um, so it does come with a free bacta kit, which will help to enrich the soil, um, help to seed the soil with um, beneficial bacteria, uh, which will help to start the cycle. It also helps to break down waste. Um, in the back here, just for some additional height um, and some, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? for additional height and um, so that you don't get any anaerobic spots as such. Um, I've used Seachem Fluorite Dark. Um, that'll, that'll also give me that little bit of extra height in the back and also means I don't have to use quite so much soil when I come to putting soil in the tank. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I shall have a play around with this Sibu Stone. Um, and some there's some awesome bits of bogwood around the place, so uh, I'm pretty I'm spoiled for choice really as far as uh, hardscape goes. Um, and uh, you'll see what happens. I will. Um, I will film it. I might do um, a time lapse just so you can see me playing around with it. Because uh, if I did it in real time, you'd be bored stiff. So uh, I'll. Um, I'll select the hardscape, I'll have a little play around, um, and then I'll skate the tank in a time lapse. And then the next thing you see then is when it's finished. So uh, stick with me, um, I'll be back in a bit. Right, okay, guys, I'm behind the camera, so um, you'll see I've made a little bit of progress. Um, what I've done is I've used three pieces of cereal. Um, I've sorted out some bits of like it's a mixture of spider wood and um, red bore actually um, that I'm going to use for the wood side of it and then I'll do then I'll do the planting so um, yeah it shouldn't be too long now let me just see if I can zoom in for you and I'll just give you a little look of what I've done yeah it's three large well one large the largest on the left and that's a nice, slightly smaller piece, and then that even smaller piece behind there sat on top of the fluorite, as I said. Um, and I've got three pieces, uh, well, a few pieces of uh, wood in and around the place. Um, okay, then next I'll do a time lapse then, so you can uh, see me escaping. Hardscape's done. Uh, I'm just going to prep some plants. So I decided to use uh, Helianthum tenelum green for the midground because we're not having a carpet, so we're just going to use some of this for uh, midgrounds because it's a nano tank. Um, then we're going to go with Staragini repens, um, another nice easy carpeting plant. We'll get slightly taller than Helianthum and have slightly bigger leaves, so that's cool. Um, then for the background, good old Limnophila sessiflora. It will get much bigger than this and taller. And if you cut the tops and replant them into the soil, then you'll double the amount of um, plants you've got. A um, bit of Anubius nana for the, very, the foreground, but tucked away underneath the rocks. And then good old Microsorum. Uh, I think this is the mini, the mini version, um, or it could be narrow. I'm not quite sure. It doesn't say on the on the packet, but um, that'll be for the wood. So to prep the plants, these are the one to grow. Um, so it doesn't look like there's a lot in there, but it's really good value for money. There's uh, basically there's lots of tiny little baby plants, free from pests, free from snails. I'm pretty sure you've seen George Farmer and many others doing uh, the same thing. So you basically just take the lid off 
I, I don't even bother tipping the gel up, uh, the, the liquid out. I just take the whole plant out, dump it in my bucket of water, just rinse it off, and that's it, job done. Right guys, tank is done. Um, all I've got to do now is I'm going to add the Predibio, let's see if you can focus on that. Um, this is the back to kit for the soil. Um, and then I've got to put some water in. A job done. Uh, let me know what you think of it. Um, I'm really pleased. Um, I used some black quartz gravel in the front um just here um just to contrast against the stone and the wood um i was going to use like a natural sand or natural gravel but i liked the the contrast so let me know what you think so escape's all done let me know what you guys think um 60 liter nano cube i've used anubius nana petite uh, Microsorum Mini. Um, there's some um, Sterogyne Repens there back right. There's Limnophilus sessiflora on the left. There's uh, Helianthum Tedlum Green on the right. And I'm trying Crypt. Um, I think it's um, Willisi, I think. Willisi, I think it is. Um, yeah, we got some shrimp going in today. So, uh, yes, I hope you enjoyed the video. I tried to do it as best I could. I was here all by myself. Um, so, um, that's it for me. Um, yeah, the soil I used was uh, the shrimp soil. I'll put all the descriptions in, but um, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hope to get this all edited and up for you guys tonight okay ta-da <laughs>